Today I will read the story, The North Wind and the Sun. The North Wind looked down on the earth and was pleased with what he saw. He had been blowing all night. He could see the difference he had made to the line. Lines of tall poplar trees were bent over their branches, almost touching the ground. And thousands of dandelion seeds were blowing like small white parachutes over the bare fields. North Wind was so pleased. He sang a little song. North Wind does blow and we shall have snow. And what will poor Robin do then? Poor thing, he will sleep in a barn and keep himself warm and hide his head under his wing. Poor thing, in the same sky, the sun also looked down on the earth and was pleased with what he saw. His warm rays had made the sunflowers turn their golden faces towards him. The bare trees of winter were green again and the little robin, no longer cold, had come out of his hiding place and was hopping on the sunlit grass, looking for worms. This is the world I like, said the sun, smiling, a world of light and happiness. The north wind and the sun each thought they were stronger than the other. When I blow, said the north wind, the trees bow to my command. The seas rise up and sway the shore. Children hold on to lamp posts to stop from being blown away. Everyone takes notice of the north wind. The sun disagrees. I have a far greater effect, he said. I make things glow and flourish and feel better. The power of the sun is stronger than anything. Let us have a contest then, said the north wind. Let us see which of us can move the coat of the man reading under the apple tree. The sun agreed. You go first, he said. The man under the apple tree, he had no idea what was coming. He sat turning the pages of his book, enjoying the peace and quiet of a lovely sunny day. Above the north wind buffed up his chest and blew as hard as he could. The sun grew, the sky grew dark. The branches of the apple tree began to sway madly and all the apples fell to the ground pages were whipped out of the man's book and scattered in the wind the man had to hang on his his hat and coat to stop them from being torn from him i shall remove his coat by sheer force the north wind shouted blowing even harder However, hard the north wind blew. He didn't remove the man's coat and hat. I shall try a different method, said the sun. I shall fill the sky with the warm golden light. The air became calm. The apple tree stood upright and the pages of the man's book settled on the ground. The man under the apple tree he relaxed. He began to feel warm again. He took off his hat and coat and unbuttoned his coat. What a wonderful summer day, the man said. I no longer need such warm clothes. And he took off his coat and laid it on the grass. Then he stretched out in the sun and went to sleep. The sun turned to the north wind. You can't always force people to do what you want, he said. Sometimes it is better to persuade them. Perhaps my methods were a little harsh. 
admitted the north wind. We are very different, the sun said, but we can still be good friends. The north wind and the sun began to laugh together about their foolish contest, and below them, the man under the tree picked up his things and went home. The north wind blew a small cloud in the direction of the smiling sun, and a few raindrops fell to the ground. A rainbow spread across the sky, and the north wind and the sun had made it together. The aim of the story is, it is better to persuade others than to force them to do what you want. The end.